archaeologists stunned as 2,000-year-old skull bound by metal evidence of ancient surgery, obviously. Look at this thing. How did they even put that in? How did it even, how did it even stay there? Uh, archaeologists are stunned by this 2,000-year-old skull of a Peruvian warrior bound by metal, which is one of the earliest examples of ancient surgery. The elongated skull fused together with metal is currently held by the Skeletons Museum of Osteology in Oklahoma, USA. The museum hailed the discovery as one of the most interesting pieces. The skull is believed to have come from a Peruvian warrior and that it had been damaged in battle around 2,000 years ago. It's thought that Peruvian surgeons conducted a miraculous surgery on the warrior's skull when he returned from battle seriously injured. The museum said on Facebook that the elongation of its structure was achieved through head binding beginning at a very young age. It's a practice that showed uh, social status. Ancient Peruvian surgeons are thought to have implanted a piece of metal to repair the fractured skull. And as we can see, there's a lot of damage around that area. The museum said the material used was not poured as metal, molten metal, with a plate used to help bind the broken bones. The exact composition of the alloy is unknown. Now, the museum said the material used was not poured as molten metal, obviously, otherwise the person would have died. Now, we do not know the composition of the alloy, they said. The plate was used to help bind the broken bones. Although we cannot guarantee anesthesia was used, we do know many natural remedies existed for surgical procedures during this time period, they said. The experts say the procedure was done on the skull proves that ancient peoples were capable of performing complex surgery and medical procedures. The museum posted, we do not have a ton of background on this piece, but we do know he survived the procedure. Based on the broken bone surrounding the repair, you can see that it's tightly fused together. It was a successful surgery, they said. The skull had been in the museum's private collection, but after soaring of public interest in the artifact, it was later put on display in 2020. The spokesperson for skeletons, Museum of Osteology, told the Daily Star, traditionally, silver and gold was used for this type of procedure. The area where the skull was unearthed in Peru has long been known for surgeons who came up with a series of complex procedures to treat a fractured skull. The injury seen to the skull was fairly common at the time. This is due to the use of projectiles like slingshots during battle. Elongated skulls were also common in Peru at the time. They were stretched by applying force to a person's cranium, usually by binding it between two pieces of wood. Physical anthropologist John Verano of Tulane University told National Geographic in 2016, they, the ancient Peruvian surgeons, learned early on that this was a treatment that could save lives. We have overwhelming evidence that trepanation, that is drilling of the skull, was not done to increase consciousness or as a purely ritual activity, but it's linked to patients with severe head injury, especially skull fractures. That's interesting. Elongated skulls have been found in ancient burial grounds around the world. Many are the result of a practice of intentionally deforming the skull with binding applied during the early years of a child's life. Some may be explained by natural deformity, yet enough mystery is left in relation to some of the skulls for various series to arise. And this is on Collective Spark by Paul, uh, Jacob Paul of Express. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.